Hi, it's Jeff Ondash. Welcome to Out and About. You know, at YSU, it's summertime and school might be out for a lot of people, but that doesn't mean there's not things going on, especially right here. You could see behind us the Youngstown State Summer Festival of the Arts is here again. It's in, going to be in July. I'm with Lori Factor, and you've done this for this is the 21st year now. It's the 21st year for this. I mean, that's the story is that we've been able to keep it going. And that is just a testament to the community coming out and the artists wanting to uh, showcase and sell their wares, performers. So a little bit of everything. And, and you don't just put on a craft show. This is a true art show because you get you get artisans from pretty much all over the country to come here and show their wares. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a juried show, and that means that artists have to apply. They can't just rent a table or rent a tent, so they have to show what their artwork is and show the process. And then we have two folks who, two artists who are our jurors. Not everybody gets accepted, but that just helps to enhance the quality of what the artwork is. And one of the nice things about your show, uh, amongst other art shows out there, is, is you have a really nice diversity of craftsmen in it. It's not just 50 jewelers or 50 painters. You have a very, very nice little spattering of just about everything in the arts. Right. Well, those jurors really take their responsibility seriously, and they look at what we, the number of a certain category that we have so that they don't make it a jewelry show or a wood show or whatever. So so there is really something uh, for, for all types of artwork and for everybody who might like a particular kind of artwork from painting to, to jewelry to photography. Uh, again, woodwork, metalwork. So um, every, I, I feel like every sort of genre is uh, is represented. And represented very well. You will see some incredible artisans down here. Some of the best work in all of America you'll see on the campus here at the Summer Festival of Arts. But you're not only going to see great artwork. You're going to you're going to see some great food that you could consume. There's some uh, some good food down here. Well, there is good food. We have all sorts of the sort of what you would call fair food, but then we've got ethnic food that is here and so you won't go away hungry. No. You won't go away thirsty, but we also have some partner events as well. The St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church will have their summer fest during uh, the same weekend, which is July 13th and 14th. They'll open up on Thursday, July 11th and they have lunch. They've got all their Greek specialties, including pastries. So um, I think that's part of what's nice with our weekend. Everything is walkable. There are other events going on. So it's a great way to make the entire weekend something that you and your family can do. And you're only a block away from downtown Youngstown with a lot of other things happening down there and a lot of good restaurants and things to do and things to see. The kids on Saturday, you can bring them down to Oh Wow, let them see that. So there's there's plenty to do in this neck of the woods. So getting back to this event, 21 years of doing this and pulling this off. That's, that's a testament to your committee and your work and a lot of hard work goes into this. Well, it doesn't just start the month before. It starts no. the year before and we think about some interesting things that could be a part of it. For instance, we have uh, an, what we're calling an organ crawl. We have uh, three different beautiful uh, musical instrument organs, and there will be performances at each of the three different locations, a little bit of history about those musical instruments. So that's something new. And uh, the McDonough Museum of Art will also be participating with chalking and several different, uh, different uh, exhibits. We've got on uh, Saturday night, we have a phenomenal concert concert that's going to be featuring Norman Brown, who's a Grammy Award winner. That will be at the brand new Youngstown Foundation Amphitheater. First time ever that that will be there. So there is so much to do uh, at and around. That's our tagline, at and around Youngstown State University. Yeah, but make sure you stop first at the F Summer Festival of Arts. It's it's a phenomenal thing. If you if you find some goods there that you like, you can always, there's lots of parking close by, take them to your car, and then go and visit all the other great things things to do here so and this now this moved quite a little bit this year because we've had a the July 4th holiday falls kind of different so we had to alter it a little bit so that's why you might see it on a different weekend here yeah 
Yeah, absolutely. I think that, that the 4th of July falling on a Thursday means that anybody who can take a vacation day on Friday the 5th will take that. And so it just kind of made sense for us to move it to the 13th and 14th so that we could accommodate uh, families who might be out of the area. And this is just such a tradition for so many people. So we want to make sure that we gave everybody the opportunity to do it. And it just kind of made sense for, for all of us uh, to, to do that. Uh, the event is free. Parking is free and uh, we've got tremendous performances new performances this year we've got dozens of music dance and theater performances so it's all about the performing arts too yeah, that's one of the things that I really enjoy. It's, it's, it's constant performance coming from that one little area there. It's, it's band after band after band, and it's not the same thing. It just keeps going and going both days. And this is a rain or shine event, and so come on out. If there's a couple sprinkles or whatever, don't worry about it. The artisans are there. They all have tents, and they're ready for you with a lot of great stuff. So, Lori, thank you again for putting on such a wonderful event here that weekend. And you don't even have to be bothered because you can have fun on your 4th of July weekend and and then the next weekend, come down to YSU on the 13th and 14th and enjoy all the great things happening around the central thing, the Summer Festival of the Arts. Lori, thank you very much. The hours. Well, we'll be here on Saturday, July 13th from 10 until 6 and Sunday, July 14th from 11 until 5. 11 to 5. That's plenty enough. And, and these artists, don't worry. If you can't make it on Saturday, this is one thing that we, you really want to drive home. If you can't make it on Saturday, it's okay. The Artists do not run out. They, bl they bring plenty and plenty of inventory. So just because you didn't get here on the first day doesn't mean you're going to get their best work. They have enough, a lot of it, to last for both days. So you can come down either day and enjoy it. And again, Lori, thank you so much. And we hope to see you that weekend, Friday, no, excuse me, Saturday. <laughs> 14th for the YSU 21st annual Summer Festival of the Arts and that doesn't end there. Then there's going to be lots of things happening all around the YSU campus that weekend. Chuck, can they can go to the website? They can. www.ysu.edu slash SFA like Summer Festival Arts. Okay, and you can see everything right there in case you want to just check it out again. Thank you again for watching Out and About and we'll see you down here at the YSU Summer Festival of Arts. You have a great July and we'll talk to you again real soon.